Hey guys, my name is Petey and today let's look at what is in my opinion the best loadout for solo hunters. I'm gonna give you guys a loadout right off the bat here since that's what you came here for. However, I'm gonna go into each piece of this loadout, explain my reasoning why I've included it and provide clips of examples. So trust me, even if you're a veteran hunter with hundreds of hours like myself, I guarantee you that there is something new that you can learn here. Now, the most important piece of any loadout is the primary weapon. And for that, we're rocking the veterally silenced with FMJ. There are a lot of pros to this weapon and really only one con that I could find. Some of the pros are that it's silent, pretty obvious. But you know, I think hunters really undervalue the importance of sound in this game. Sound is not only your biggest advantage in this game, but it's also your biggest disadvantage, especially as a solo hunter. So being able to leverage sound in your favor is is very important. Also, the sights on this gun are such a huge improvement to the non-silenced variants. Removing the two obstructing prongs on the side while aiming is such a huge plus. And the biggest pro, in my opinion, having a bolt action medium rifle that doesn't break the bank that allows you to two shot hunters from a decent distance. Now, combining that with FMJ allows you to be aggressive, miss some shots, yet still be able to get the drop on someone. Just don't be afraid to shoot through wood or any other cover someone is in or behind. The only real con to having this gun as your primary is the ammo reserves. Since we're rocking FMJ and shooting through walls, using sound to tell us where they are, I mean, you're gonna end up shooting a lot. And you know, you might miss a lot too, and that's okay. But the only real way to top back off is finding one of the few and far between special ammo crates in the map. Now, I have a solution to fix this, and I'll go over that here in just a second. As far as secondaries go, I recommend going with one or two different options. And I'll explain why so you can decide what might work best for you in your situation. Now, the first option I recommend is using a silenced Nagant with poison ammo for mob control. The biggest thing that has hurt me as a solo hunter was engaging an emulator, pack of dogs, or an armored either while fighting hunters or before the fight giving my position away. Now, take this clip here for example. The poison silenced Nagant two shots emulators, armors, and hives with ease, not giving away my position, and more importantly, saving me time to continue the chase to this team that's in Golden Acres allowing me to position properly. Also, not having to worry about moonwalking dogs is also a big plus. I absolutely hate dealing with dogs. Alternatively, I'd also recommend bringing a cab saber specifically for defending yourself in close quarter situations and being aggressive when the situation calls for it. Since the silenced Vetterly isn't the best aggro primary, you get the best of both worlds here when bringing the cab saber and versatility is the best tool for success for any solo hunter. Now, speaking of tools, I'd recommend bringing a knife if you have the silenced Nagant or a pair of dusters if you're running a cab saber. Always bring a health pack, pretty self-explanatory, and a trap of choice, but that is totally optional. Uh, that's, that's it for your tools, nothing too crazy going on here. For your consumables, always bring a sticky. Stickies are the best way to kill the bosses quickly so that you can focus on defending your position and take the bounty. Now check out this clip here where I killed a butcher in under 30 seconds at Ironworks while I still had a team chasing me in fort. The sticky works great against all bosses except for the assassin really, which at that point, I would just recommend bringing a stamina shot for him, then grabbing an ax or hammer you see lying around the world to take care of him in minutes. However, that is totally optional, and to be honest with you, I don't even ever do that. Now, if I do have an assassin on my map, I will either go to the other bounty or just wait at assassin and get the drop on the team that might try to attack it. Bring a vitality shot of choice for a quick health up, although I do prefer a regeneration shot instead personally. It forces me to reposition and adjust my angle of attack while I wait for my health to top off. And lastly, bring an ammo crate and always top off while at five shots or less with your primary, just to never run out of that FMJ. Every time I've ran out of ammo and had to resupply with an ammo crate, I've never ran out again. Now when it comes to perks, I cannot stress enough the importance of Doctor and Bandage as a solo, so if you want to stay safe, those are great options. After that, anything that keeps you stealthy are great picks too, such as Silent Killer, Lightfoot, and Whispersmith. 
Although, this build absolutely shines with poison builds. So, if you want to get advanced with it and have some fun, I would strongly recommend grabbing Frontiersmen for extra poison traps and poison scents. Check out this clip here where I got to the bounty first on a solo bounty map. I started banishing and defending my area against other teams here. This engagement resulted in two squad wipes, securing the bounty, and using every bit of this build to my advantage. Now, keep in mind the primary perks that I'm using that help me win these, these fights are Whispersmith, Silent Killer, Frontiersman, and Poison Sense, while the trap being used is a poison trap. Check it out. This is an S level tier loadout for solos for sure. I have some of the most fun while rocking this in the bayou and I know you will too. I hope you guys enjoyed this solo build slash guide. If you are thinking about using it yourself, hit that like button to continue getting builds just like this. Consider subscribing and remember, no matter how good your loadout is, it'll never protect you from bush wookie extract campers like this. See you in the bayou.